Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. We're talking about prehabilitation, a treatment that could be helpful for some patients and in certain conditions like breast cancer, it is highly recommended. Prehabilitation is exercise used before an intervention like surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation to improve the outcome after the intervention. How do breast cancer patients benefit from prehabilitation services? Whether it's rotator cuff tendonitis or shoulder replacement, any surgery on the breast can affect the armpit or the shoulder and give the patients discomfort. So if they already have a shoulder problem, you can imagine how that can compound the issue. Are there other medical conditions that can benefit from prehabilitation? We do prehabilitation here in our joint center for our hip and knee replacement patients and those patients do very well as, as well. Any type of cancer, I'm happy to see patients with any type of cancer for prehabilitation recommendations. Are there exercises designed specifically for breast cancer patients? So we tend to focus on the shoulder for breast prehabilitation and the most um, generic exercise I can recommend that's typically safe for all patients would be to find something to hold on to and lean over and do little circles with the shoulder. Th that's called Codman's exercises or some patients call it pendulums. How often should these exercises be done? We generally recommend doing the exercises daily. I typically recommend three sets of 10. Some patients that struggle with the exercises will separate those three sets for three times a day, and some patients will just do them all in the morning to get them out of the way. How do patients get into breast cancer prehab? Some patients will be referred to me, and I'm happy to see patients with any type of cancer for this issue. Um, they could be referred by their oncologist to physical or occupational therapy here at UMass at our Hanneman campus. 